This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. So yeah, I just went until I got my first party member up to 55, and that was Kane, but everybody else isn't too far behind. I mean, Rydia's a little bit behind, but... Now... Um, the ones that she picked up since last time, we got Stone, Weak, Fatal, and Nuke. So, I believe Meteo is the only one she doesn't have. And for Rosa, assuming that what Usoya had was all of the white magic, I think she has it all now. I think she had hold before, so I think white was the only one I picked up extra. And also, I did get a rare drop. I was just farming inside of um, the cave Bahamut, and I was just going back and forth in the first area where I'd already been. And we were just running across the same kind of um, three enemies, but in different groups of them. The Warlocks, which I think I saw before when I was recording with Carrie, it was kind of like the Sorcerer and the Warrior Chick. So I think it was the Sorcerer that dropped a new robe for my mages. The Heroine robe, I guess, is what I'm going to consider it to be. So yeah, look what this does to her defense. From 37 and 27 to 53 and 23. So it does lower magic defense a little. That's a lot more physical defense for Rydia. It would have been nice, I guess, if I could pick up one of those for her as well, but we're going to go with that as it is. I gave it to Rydia just because she does have lower HP. Alright, so let's see how well we make our way through here now. Yeah, Kane does a little more damage with jumping. So, yeah, these guys are still going to do a lot of damage to me, but, um... Basically, I'm able to negate that because we have higher HP now. It just means you'll have to do a lot of menuing to heal in between battles, probably. Yeah, we're doing pretty good damage to him, also. I probably wouldn't have had to call here, but I don't know if I've even showed off all of my summons, so... There's Leviathan. That Warlock, I'm pretty sure, is the one that dropped that heroine robe. And they're ready to get another level now. Okay, there's another treasure chest down here. Yeah, but just the two of them, I'm probably just going to use physical attacks. And yeah, Rydia's whip still does have that added bonus of paralyzing them, potentially. Samurai. Can't tell from the sprite of that. Is that the armor? I don't know, that really looked kind of weird. Maybe it was the glove. Yeah. I don't know why it looked different when it was in the initial screen there. But yeah, that does raise him up a little bit. Pain already has all the samurai stuff, so... Don't need to give it to him. I should probably heal up, at least for Edge. He was getting a little down. And we went over there in that hidden path before and got the samurai shield. Now Cecil's pretty powerful, but so slow in the turn order here. Kane even did more damage than Cecil that time there with the jump. 
Level up for Cecil. Yeah, these guys are dropping pretty good experience, so it wasn't too... Didn't have to spend too much time in here. Well, I mean, if you can see, yeah, I'm at 18 hours and 41 minutes now, so it's like an hour and a half, I think, that I spent leveling up. Okay, second floor, there's another treasure. There's the armor. Went quite a while without getting a battle there. And yeah, I don't know if there are more enemies in here. Like, if I head further in, there might be more types than what I have encountered so far. Okay, it seems like, yeah, that's the way to go forward, but this is the helmet. Alright, certainly bringing his magic defense up a little better with that full set there. Okay, here's a new one. King Ryu. Ryu. I think there's also a gold version of these guys, which has a different name and is a little tougher. Wow. 19,000 GP? Only 5,000 experience, so I guess you need the money there. Those guys are a good place to farm it, apparently. That's decent damage to the guys in the front row, but didn't hit Rosa for very much. Yeah, okay, I think this is scripted. I did, didn't want to say it, but yeah, there are a couple places in here where you get um, forced encounters with behemoths. Oh, is that just a straight up counter attack? In that case, I should not have my <laughs> mages attacking him physically. I can try magic spell and see how it does against him. I don't want him like I'm afraid that he might be like auto wall or absorb it or something. Okay. No he doesn't, it just didn't do much damage at all. Got quite a bit of HP. So not a pushover. Okay, there we go. 65,000 GP and 11,740 experience, yeah. I don't think those guys come in just random encounters, but I think he'll still be in this spot. If you, like, want to fight him again, you can just go back and forth and farm him there, probably. I don't really feel like fighting him again, so I'm not going to test that here right now. Plus, I don't think that's the only spot where we'll run into one of those guys in here. I could try some of our more powerful spells, I suppose, against him. See what they do. Yeah, that's a dead end. I think we're actually almost at the end of this. It's not terribly long. But yeah, we do have another one of the behemoths here now already. Let's nuke him. Okay, that did decent damage. And what about white? Which is basically holy. Just didn't call it holy in this one.
I think in, yeah, in Final Fantasy Misfit Quest, they also called it that. Okay, well, that's not good. Yeah. All right, that's fine. She got the cure four off. I don't know if he did that because we used magic on him, so he was countering it that way, or if that's just one of his usual attacks that he can use. But yeah, I always hate to see those moves where they take everybody down to low HP. Just because, depending on your luck and the RNG, you might not be able to do much about it. I don't know why I used the spell on Rydia. She didn't need it. That's good enough to move forward, at least, I think. Probably have at least one more behemoth in here somewhere. Yeah. This is just a random encounter, I'm pretty sure. Probably one in the middle here somewhere. Okay, no. I am still betting we'll get another behemoth fight before I'm done here, though. But I might be pleasantly surprised. Since I am expecting it, I'd better heal up. Is this it? Yep, here we go. could try to... Actually, I haven't shown off some of these other ones yet. Let's see what Ashura does. I don't know if she heals you or if she does a reflect on you. Okay. I think I think she can do multiple things depending on her face again. Which one's facing? So, I don't know. That was good. about Sylph. What's that going to do to him? Basically like a drain spell. Drain from the enemy and give it back to us, except it didn't really work on him, I guess. Okay, Edge got a level. here. What do you need? Oh? You're a half. Half Lunarian, I guess? That's what she's referring to? So you had defeated Leviathan. But it could have been done without the power of light. Whether you possess the true light or not, 
I, Bahamut, the king of the monsters, will judge. Okay, I guess I wasn't really getting what he was saying right away, but I think he's saying that Leviathan could be beaten either way, but he won't be without the light. Yeah, he's going to count down. He's counting down pretty quickly, so that's going to be a problem for me. Doing decent damage to him. I'm not sure how summons will do against him, but let's see. Leviathan is basically our strongest one. That's not too bad. Doubt Odin will work against him. No, we're not going to get to see it anyway. Wow, really? That wall on Cecil had already worn off? Yeah, so he's going to start over with the countdown. Well, I don't know if I'll have a chance to get her wall or not. Okay, well, we got him. So, yeah, basically the trick to beating him is to use wall, because you'll reflect his mega nuke, or whatever they called it. But, yeah, we can only... I guess I didn't even check, or didn't remember to check if um, Cecil has wall, but I don't think so. I have indeed seen your, seen your strength and will. You can call my name when you need my help, Redia. So, yep, yeah, Redia learned Bahamut. Baham. <laughs> That's the final summon we get. Well, unless I was able to find any of those others. Seems like in a lot of these games, Bahamut was usually the strongest summon, or the final one you get. Although not always, and I mean, they certainly kind of went away from that in more of the later games. He's usually pretty strong, but they usually have some other, even stronger ones. But yeah, it does cost 60 to summon him, so it's even higher than Leviathan. Now, we just exit out of here, I think. Also, yeah, why don't I check to see if Cecil had wall? No? Okay, yeah, I figured that was way too high of a white magic spell for him to have it. Although, potentially, I suppose you could have done this when you had Fusuyu? Fusoya? And he would have had it then, so... Yeah, just something to consider. You might want to do it before you lose him. But it wasn't like it was too tough anyway for me, as long as you know what you're doing. If you didn't, and you don't know about the whole reflect thing on him, you're probably going to fail at that the first time. Of course, you could probably still beat him without it, but you'd probably have to level up quite a bit. Be able to, or, you know, just try to go all all out and try to inflict enough damage on him before he uses his um, move there. I think for one thing I would have had to turn the battle speed down to be able to get that done though. Alright. I am probably going to stop at the naming way cave or the humming ways, whatever they called themselves, and go to the shop there before we head in. 
because, well, I don't have anything else left to do, so I might as well spend all my money. Yeah, since the moon's so small, it makes it uh, pretty quick to get around. Now, I just gotta find the right one. Yeah, wasn't too hard. I doubt I'll need that many, but uh, <laughs> why not? Yeah, that'll be the bulk of my money there. What do I have? Oh, 37,000. Yeah. Well. Now I need to rearrange my inventory a little bit. What do I have? 26 elixirs. 49 cure 1, 76 cure 2, 47 lives, 29 cabins. The only other thing I would consider doing would be um, buying some heals. He doesn't have them though, so I'd have to go back down to Earth. And I don't think I'm going to worry about that. You have to go through the lunar path again now, though, to get to the Crystal Palace. Yeah, I'm not really worried about these guys. Plus, I really don't care if I drop any money now. I don't think there are any more um, shops where we're going. I don't think we ever ran across the other enemy that I'd seen in Bahamut's cave um, before when I was doing my grinding, and it was the Red Giant. We saw a version of it, the Mech Giant, I think it was, in the ta in the Giant of Babel. But this guy was just a stronger form of it. He was probably the strongest one in there to take out of the three, but he wasn't too bad. I just utilized my black magic against him a little more. I'd use an ice three on him. Pretty sure we've seen all those guys too. The red worm might have been a different one, but now they're worms. we'll come across some save points further in but just in case so we don't have to make our way back to the area here and I didn't really pay enough attention to notice if I'd lost anything HP or MP I don't think so yep looks like we're good I guess we're assuming that uh, Bobez and Soya won't be good enough to finish this on their own. Crystals have more to say. You will find weapons that once endangered the lives of the Lunarians sealed with Zemus below here. Tower of Babel was destroyed. Zemus's field has been lifted. Path is opened. Okay, so that's what lifts the seal. 
Usoya and Kluya's son went inside, and they've been in for quite a long time. I mean, they say quite a long time, but he could have come here straight after, and I don't think their dialogue would have changed here. We shall guide you to the path that leads to the core. Go toward the core. Even Fasuya should have a hard time fighting against Zemus, who has increased his psychic powers. Between our conflicting powers exists an enormous amount of energy. All of our powers are used to neutralize the powers of Zemus from the core. Alright. And step here, and I guess their power is gonna warp us to the core. We shall guide you to the path that leads to the core. Okay, well, they're not warping us to the core, they're warping us, warping us to the path, I guess. I guess it does that, what, once for every pair of them, or... Wasn't quite every one of them, I don't think. Alright. So this is like the theme from the Red Wings, I think, again. So there are a couple of paths here. You can see there are hidden paths going through. I don't know, I don't remember which way is the right way to go first, so let's just try this one. One of them's just going to lead to treasure, and one's going to be actual progress. Okay, same guys here. And I think it's going to be one of those things where further in we go, you will see some different enemies. As long as it's only one, I don't mind if they do that. And yeah, like in a lot of these other RPGs, there are ultimate weapons down in here. Most of them you're going to have to fight a boss for, and they will be tougher than other things we've seen so far. And we got some Artemis arrows. I had gotten some of them too, um, ten of them before. I don't know if you saw those in my inventory, I didn't think to mention it, but... Those are the strongest arrows in the game. So yeah, Samurai and then Ar Artemis are stronger than that. And I do have my whole stack of charm ones, too. What do I have equipped now? I think I have Medusa. Yeah. Just because I figured I'd try to get rid of my weaker ones first. The Medusa ones do have a chance of turning the enemy to stone, though. Okay, so yeah, that's... The way forward is the other pass, so I, I was right here. Although, it is a monster chest. Okay, it's two of these red giants, so yeah, you will get to see them here. And yeah, that was an encounter that I could find in Bahamut's Lair too, where you would get two of them sometimes. But also sometimes you'd get like one of them with the Warlock and Carry combination. So yeah, you can see they do have quite a bit of HP. I don't think I'll use another spell though. Okay, there's one. And we already got about 6,000 damage in on the other one here. Okay, that should be about 9,000. Okay, so, got over 10,000. Be around 11 or 12,000, it looks like. So yeah, decent amount of experience for two of them. Pretty gained a level, and what did we get? Okay, ninja armor. 
spell. I'm pretty sure that's going to be for my ninja. Let me see if um, anybody else can use it, though. I would doubt it. Yeah, he could use some more defense because he does get hit pretty hard in the front row. Okay, so the black belt has more attack. He, so the ninja does lower his attack, but it does double his magic defense and brings physical defense up 12. So that's a pretty good upgrade. close enough. Alright. But I think we will actually call it there for today. So we'll pick up here next time and see how far we can get through the path of the Lunar Core. I don't think we'll be finishing this up next time. It'll probably take at least two more parts here. But anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.